Is there a way to make the throttle slower or less sensitive when the drone is in acro mode? Mm -mm. You don't want that anyway. You do not want that. Um, I think what's happening to you is that you're having trouble like managing your altitude. And so like you move the throttle and it's up and down, it's all over the place. That's a you problem. That's a fingers problem. What you might want is a less powerful aircraft or you might wanna reduce your throttle power, but you don't wanna make the throttle slower and less reactive. Adding delay to the throttle will just make your job way, way harder. If you're having trouble with now, adding delay to the throttle will make it even harder. Because you'll make, right now, you move the throttle and you go, ah, crap, uh, that was too much, I need to lower it. And then you lower it and you go, ah, that was too much, I need to raise it. What would happen instead would be, you would raise the throttle and then uh, there would be a delay. Meanwhile, the quadcopter's doing the wrong thing. You, it, would make, it would make it way harder. So... Um, what I would suggest you do is you go and you put in a throttle scale. I'm going to plug uh, a flight controller in, and, and you're going to hear a boop doop ba doop That's my computer, not yours. That's the least I could do. Uh -huh, that's me. We'll uh, bring up beta flight. Hey, Mike, Mike from the UK. I, you can also ask questions in the Discord. Um, the way it works is the normal chat is down here. The Discord questions are up here. And then Super Chats are up here because that's just how live streams work. Um, but Discord users also get priority because they're patrons. So, like, if you just, if you, like, just answer my damn question, then uh, that's, a, that's a Super Chat. I'm still like, eh, I'll put that question off for later. I still am selective, you know, about the Discord questions. Uh, but Super Chats, I just pretty much read them all. So I just want you to know, you are getting credit for being a patron. But that doesn't extend to, answer my question now! That's a Super Chat, FYI. That's, that's how it works. Um, beta Flight. What you're going to do is you're going to go to the PID Tuning tab, and then... You are going to set up a motor output limit right here. Zoom. Motor output limit. No, I take it back. Motor output limit isn't the right thing to use if you just want an easier throttle. The problem is that motor output limit will limit the output of the flight controller to the ESC and make the PID controller less effective. You would use motor output limit if your motor KV was too high and you wanted to avoid frying a motor. It literally dials down the KV of the motor, basically. What you want to do is go to rate profile. Sorry, I'll do that again. You want to go to rate profile right here. And then you want to do a throttle limit scale and then the throttle limit, that's what you want. And if you take that down to 80%, it'll be easier for you to control your altitude because your throttle will be less sensitive. It's essentially like making the aircraft less powerful. Now, some people are gonna tell you to use throttle expo, and you can, that will also potentially help. I think it's better to keep a linear throttle and just dial, the, dial it down so that you get better. I think linear throttle is more predictable, and I, I, that's what I prefer. Um, I'm sure that I've got videos talking about that in depth, so I'm, I'm not going to dive into that right now, but that's my suggestion. Why would you want less power? Well, you want more control, right? By dialing down the max power, you, you have more resolution within the throttle range. 